I want to flip it back to the Bucks before we move on. Rashad Perryman makes that game-winning touchdown catch and run in overtime. We're a week away from Antonio Brown coming back. And I don't know what they're going to do. They said they don't know what they're going to do. As of last week, I heard they were at least considering cutting him. Now, is that just one last way to get his attention and make sure he doesn't do anything else stupid over the course of the balance of the season? But it's a zero-sum game with a 53-man roster in the NFL. When Antonio Brown and Mike Edwards come back, Edwards, one of the key safeties on that team, somebody's got to go. They have to make a roster move. And Perryman is the guy that they added to the practice squad back in late October, early November time frame. He became the replacement for A.B. So Rashad Perriman has that big play, game-winning catch and run in an overtime contest. Has to be gaining some trust for Tom Brady. He was with the, the Bucks and had a good season in 2019 before Brady came there. You just have to wonder what the push and pull is, Mike, behind the curtain on whether or not they welcome back A.B., or just say, hey, BP's our guy now. Yeah, well, listen, we had heard uh, Bruce Arians earlier, and I know you, you had, we had talked about this earlier, way earlier, saying <clears throat> if there was one issue with Antonio Brown, they were going to cut him. Well, this certainly was an issue, uh, a, a different issue for sure, but a guy who's had issues. But a guy who, since he's been with Tampa, has pretty much stayed out of the limelight, you know, hasn't said or done anything really bad, and, and has come out and he's performed on the field. Now, this obviously, you know, you know, irked the NFL and was wrong to do and, you know, paid the price for it with uh, with, with what happened with the suspension. But the bottom line is if they if they're not going to cut him, he's going to be out there playing because while, while Perriman did what he did, you know, there were 46 passes by Brady last night. Perriman was targeted twice and had the one reception. And that was it. It was a huge one. Obviously, went for a touchdown, a winning touchdown in this game. But it's not like he was, you know, as opposed to Godwin, who was targeted 15 times uh, in this game. It's not like he was a monster part of the offense. But, you know, Brady finds these type of guys when necessary. So I don't know the move they're going to make. But I do know if they're not cutting Antonio Brown, Antonio Brown is going to come back and be a big part of that offense. And, and you know what? There's a middle ground that occurred to me earlier today. What they could do is they could they could keep him but just put him on ice until they absolutely need him. If they ever absolutely need him because they have Mike Evans and Chris Godwin and Rob Gronkowski and other options in that passing game. But if they have a rash of injuries into the postseason, and then you're kind of forced to embrace a B, but until then you're on double secret probation and we're just not going to address you on Sundays. We're going to keep sending a message to you about how we feel about what you did, but we're going to reserve the right to pull the rip cord if we have to. Because the reality is, Mike, if you cut a guy, he's always going to get a second chance if he's good enough. You yep. want that guy to get his second chance with you and not with somebody else, especially not with somebody that you may encounter on the road to L.A. for the Super Bowl. Yeah, listen, I I, I don't think he's going anywhere. I think uh, they, they probably would have done that already. I, I believe maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You may know better than, than me on that one. Uh, but I, I don't think they're going to get rid of him. And I think when he's ready to come back, I get what you're saying about putting him on ice and waiting. But, you know, here's a team that's looking to win the first division since 07. Here's a team that's looking for a high seed. So and, and then this is pro sports, man. If you if you decide you're keeping someone that talented, I think you're damn well going to play. Him. You know, I, I don't this isn't college or high school where you say I'm going to send that message and sit you. You know, he's still going to get paid. So is, is, is that working in the NFL? Is all of a sudden he going to, you know, say, oh, I've learned my lesson, you know, for having, you know, a, a fake vax card, you know, by you sitting me. I, I, I think if, if you're not getting rid of the guy and he's active and ready to go, I think he's a guy that's going to play. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.